In tonight's showbiz report, before the horror classic An American Werewolf in London was released, the on-film transformation from man to monster was usually unseen and left up to the viewer's imagination. Makeup effects wizard Rick Baker changed all that, raising the bar for horror movies and winning an Oscar in the process. For that, film, 30, for that film's 35th anniversary, we caught up with an American werewolf in London himself, David Naughton, who relived with us one of the horror's most memorable moments. It's moving. It's circling us. I'm David Naughton, the American Werewolf in London, celebrating its 35th year, you can imagine. It was released in 1981, and here I am 35 years later, meeting fans and hearing about uh, how scared they were to see this movie. You know, it, it earned Rick Baker his first Academy Award, um, and it was a tedious process for me. I was sitting in a makeup chair for hours, uh, it took six days to shoot that transformation scene which was just about a, you know, 90 seconds, two minutes on film. We completed the entire uh, shooting of the movie, rap principal photography, and then just had the transformation to do at the end of the film. So they saved the best for last. So I had to wait to actually see it with an audience in a theater to realize the impact that it would have. Um, people were pretty spellbound by the transformation, and freaked out uh, all throughout the movie, so I was tickled. That was pretty cutting edge back then. Yeah, to this day <laughs> it still holds up. That's yeah, true. All right, some things may seem like a good idea at the time. True. But <laughs> Once you put them in action, though, that can really change. See what happened when a panda got a bit more playful than expected. Oh, boy. And here's a look at some of the shows coming up. Show. We'll be right back.